Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. Gradually, the Southeast are, gra are waking up to the harsh reality of life as many Southeasterners, top in the Igbo group, are beginning to look homewards and beginning to ask questions where need be. Don't forget that so fairly recently, Iwanya emerged uh, that's chief. Sai Iwanya emerged as the uh, uh, PG, that's President General of Ahanes in Igbo. But right now, there seem to be a lot brewing in Southeast. But before we go into the newspaper, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it to see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you have data channel on YouTube. Well, according to the Southeast Social Cultural Group, Ohana Zindibo Worldwide has described as a sacrilege, an attempt by Governor Hope Uzodema of Imo State to cover up the killing of 14 wedding guests in the Otulu area of the state on Sunday by operatives of the state-owned security network codenamed Ibubago. Now, uh, according to the news, Ohanez Ndibo in a statement by its Secretary General, Okechuku Iziguzoro, Ish Iziguzoro called for an immediate disbandment of Ibubago security outfit and demanded that the federal government of Nigeria should lead a forensic investigation into the matter to bring the perpetrators to face the full wrath of the law. Ohane Zendibo Worldwide has condemned in strong, in strong words the killing of the wedding guests from the Otulu community in Oru east of Imo State and the attempt by those who went away to cover up their misdeeds without dissent investigation over the killings will never escape the laws of natural justice and God's retribution. Ndibo is inquisitive in un unraveling the circumstances and mystery surrounding this unfortunate issue of seven wedding guests as confirmed by Otulu Community President General as the identity of those who did this has been identified, oh, sorry, as the identity of those who were killed has been identified by the community leader Namdi Abo. If the issue are not properly handled by federal government, it might lead to total breakdown of law and order in the southeast this carnage should not be allowed to be swept under the carpet as they were reckless and their voice to cover up the issues with the aid of security reports to confuse nigerians and they will cause for a forensic investigation led by the federal government into the bringing down of the people that attended a, get a wedding that's Otulu wedding guests from Oru East of Imo State and President Buhari's intervention is expected to help in assuaging the bitterness of Ndibo over this, this strategic, this tragic rather, this tragic incident. Ohana is a cause for disbandment of a Bubago security outfit Imo State chapter as they have turned into a squad that is terrible that had caught outlived its usefulness instead of serving the purpose of which they were established as an intelligence gathering organization for the society they have become a pro-bandit and state-sponsored terror group Ndibo has handed over the tragic incident and the governor of Imo State Hope Uzodema to almighty God and Igbo deities for persecution and actions we are committed to any lasting measures that the security agencies we employ to curb the insecurity challenges in the southeast, but it's a sacrilege for anyone to use security reports to exonerate those responsible for what happened in the Tulu community, especially to the wedding guests whose identities are now known. A time of reckoning is imminent. We call for calm in Oru East and West local government area of Imo State, and President Buhari's intervention is what Ndibo is looking forward to. Beholding Ohanes Ndibo stated, Wow, they are bringing in Igbo deity. It has gone from uh, just security, they are now bringing in deity into this matter. Like one prominent uh, uh, politician said from the south, he said, It's only in Imo state, only in south is Imo state that even when the governor wants to attend church service, he goes with bulletproof cars. And heavy security as if he's going to fight the battle. 
a place where there should be a solemn assembly where people gather at least you're ruling your people they should be able to have you know interaction with you mingle with you in the place of service where is assume you're coming to see your creator your your your, your the God that created mankind and all and the little you can do is to make sure you come everybody relax in a relaxed mode but it comes fully prepared with ammo tankers and a security gadget full inside the church service and one begins to wonder uh, if they elected you personally speaking you should be able to mingle freely with them if yes there should be security to, to some extent but not the one that looks as if you're going into the lion's den and so you have to be very prepared so that the lion doesn't consume you and now that's total contrast to peter obi i've seen several sometimes uh, nigerians warn him i've seen several peter will be walking through an onishame market Without security, I don't even know if they wear, maybe they don't wear uniform. Without security. And the way they will hug him. The way people will assess him. Eh. They say he that is done if you no for for. Whoever that must come to equity must come with clean hands. Why would you be scared that anybody will want your down for? If for whatever reason he must have turned to something else where everybody is everybody's enemy. I could still remember some two years ago. And uh, early last year, early 2022, it was uh, Hope Uzadema versus It was Hope Uzadema versus Roger Sokorocha. There seemed to be always one problem or the other in Imo State. And it's always politicians. It's, it's worrisome. The, before now, Emeka uh, Hedioha was the people's favorite. And everybody was looking forward to the fact that Emeka uh, Hedioha will be contesting. To our utmost surprise, but what tender resignation that is not going to contest? People are like, what's going on? Maybe must, there must be something he saw or felt or must have had classified information that the guy looked at and said, nothing is worth my life, please. This life is only once. After that, it's story, story, story. Highest they will do is a one-minute silence. So the guy probably must have felt some vibes and decided to honorably tell the whole world, I am now contesting, you no... Know, <laughs> it's gotten very interesting. Of course, Nigerians are reacting now. It's no longer just the the, the Ndibo, Hanes Ndibo worldwide. You know, are no longer just looking at uh, physical security. They're not going to deity with that. Okay, oh, the Lord gods of the land, will you keep quiet? Atrocities, sacrileges are happening in the land. Things that we have not heard in a long time. Things that are actually in the olden days are back, and this time around with impunity, backed up with legality. And they're saying, will this continue? Mm. It's a food for thought. Let's feel the pause on Nigerians. This one here is saying, well, the one IPOB and UGM, yeah, okay, take that again. The one that IPOB and UGM are doing, who are who are you to hand over them to? Mm. And that person here says, Uzadema brought hopelessness to Imo, just like Kaduna State. These two governors have done a lot of things against Imo and Kaduna. Mm. And that person here says, let's manage it. But if there's another higher power in the land, drag him there. Mm. And that person here says, Honey, we hand you over to our creator, the maker of heaven and earth, almighty God, which is the ultimate, to judge you and your people and your generations to come for failure, to stand up for the truth and stop all these issues of your people, including security men and women in your region. But that's what they're actually doing. That's why you see them do what they're doing. I guess that's going to wrap it up. Let's put it in the comments.